Stop kicking me. Stop kicking me. <laughs> Front page thing. Yeah, I guess I made some ink. What ink? But tell me, Eddie, is that a rabbit in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Cut the comedy, Dolores. I've had a very hard day. I gotta get out of these cuffs. Oh, swell. Pulled over from Prohibition. Oh, I get it. A sticky, a gin mill, a hooch parlor. Tools are up here, Eddie. Yeah! It's a fire hole. Jeepers, Eddie, this would be a great place to hide. Crazy tools. Watch your head. You said you'd never take another tool case. What'd you have to change of heart? Nothing's changed. Somebody's made a patsy out of me, and I'm gonna find out why. Still, will ya? Does this help? Yeah, thanks. Do you mean to tell me that you could have taken your hand out of that cuff at any time? No, not at any time. Only when it was funny. Come on, Eddie, raise your sense of humor. He always is funny, or only on days when he's wanted for murder. Listen, my philosophy is this. If you don't have a good sense of humor, you're better off dead. You just may get your wish unless I can figure out what happened to this. What is it, Eddie? Just look at it. Mr. Rackney's will. Yeah, and I think Maroon played the part of sound mind and your wife the sound body. Why, I resent that innuendo. What's the scheme, Eddie? I don't think they got to the will. <laughs> but how do you know? Because they were still looking for it after they killed him. Anything I can do? Maybe you could go downtown and check the probate. Yeah, check the probate. Why, my Uncle Thumper had a problem with his probate, and he had to take these big pills and drink lots of water. That prostate, you idiot, probate. Let me get this straight. You think that my boss, R.K. Maroon, dropped a safe on Marvin Acne's head so that he could get his hands on two pounds? Yeah. That's my hunch. Uh... Can he stay here for a couple of days? Not gonna do anything crazy, is he? <laughs> Where are you going? Back to the office. 